Where do humans come from? A single place? Or does human history begin at roughly the same time but in different regions of the world? Archaeological findings over the past 100 years indicate humans may not originate only at the Oljavai Gorge in East Africa. Another possible location is Nihuan in northern China. One morning in 1995, villager Wang Mingtang works in a field where he comes across a human skull along with other human remains. Wong is a long-time resident and has never heard of graveyards nearby, but he has experience working at local archaeological sites. He thinks he might have found an ancient tomb. Shi Fei, director of Hebei Cultural Relics Research Institute, had conducted surveys in the area before. The unexpected discovery of the tombs reignited his hope of discovering a Neolithic site in the area. He quickly makes his way to Zhangjialiang, which is to the southwest of Nihua. Shi searches the area for days. In this situation, in this kind of while contacting the university, Xu requested provincial authorities approve his excavation at Zhangjialiang, hoping to solve the mystery as soon as possible. One afternoon, Guan Hui, a member of Shi's team, is cleaning up a tomb at Zhengjialiang when she finds a jade object the size of a quail egg around the neck of a body. She cleans it with special care but cannot identify what it is. She seeks help from the director of a local cultural relics protection institute who explains it was a jade pig dragon.
the jade pig dragon, 3.3 centimeters by 2.6 centimeters in size, exhibits superb craftsmanship. Jade pig dragons were made by the people of the Hongshan culture about 5,000 years ago. This is the first time that such an exquisite object had been found in the Nihawan area. now needed to figure out what historical period these ancient people belonged to. After more than 10 days of excavation, archaeologists found a large, highly concentrated cluster of mysterious graves. The graves contained jade pig dragons and pottery typical of the Hongshan culture. Pottery is an important symbol of Neolithic human civilization, but the dozens of red and yellow painted pottery pieces excavated still didn't provide the archaeologists with an answer about the origin of the mysterious tombs. The Hongshan culture was an important stage of early Chinese civilization that originated and thrived in an area of northeastern China. The discovery of the jade pig dragon suggests the objects were likely a totem worshipped by Nihuan men and that the area is likely to be one of the origins of China's dragon culture. The two battles brought to an end a historic period when innumerable family clans coexisted and fought. These two battles led to the reign of the Yellow Emperor, which raised the curtain for the 5,000-year-old Chinese civilization. According to historian Se Ma Qian, Zhuolu County in Hebei had long been seen as a cradle of the Chinese nation. The distance between Zhuolu and Zhangjialiang is just about 50 kilometers. Archaeologists unearth millstones, grinding rods, exquisitely polished stone chains, and stone rings at the Zhengjialiang site, as well as muscle ornaments.
More than 70 graves with human remains were also discovered alongside nine ruined housing sites. This is the biggest cluster of tombs from the Neolithic period discovered and excavated in Hubei province. Carbon-14 dating tests at the Archaeological Research Lab of Peking University say the ruined site and the dwellings were between 5,000 and 6,800 years old. Xie was surprised that the tombs filled in the gaps between Nihuan Man of two million years ago and the civilization of 5,000 years ago, and linked to the Paleolithic and Neolithic periods. It made Nihuan look like it might be the birthplace of human civilization in East Asia. Xie asked Professor Zhu Hong of Jilin University to compare the human remains from Zheng Jialiang and those from neighboring areas. <laughs> Professor Zhu came to realize the humans of Zheng Jialiang belong to an ancient race in North China. Now Professor Zhu selected an intact male skull from amid the human remains and restored his facial features using 3D computer imaging technology. Yujiago is an area of what was once a riverbed less than a hundred meters from Zheng Jialiang. There were questions about whether any sites marking an early transition from the advanced prehistoric period to the Neolithic period could be discovered. Xie decided to collaborate with Professor Wang Yuping of Peking University. They formed a joint research team to carry out an excavation at Yujiago. Even though there had been many archaeological excavations there before, it still took some time before Xu and Wang uncovered a distinctive cultural layer at Yujiago. 它有一个非常连续的剖面，也就是从距今一万五六千年到距今五六千年。那么这个这个时间段呢，正好是从旧石器时代晚期到新石器时代的这个过渡的这样的一个阶段。那么瑜伽沟的这个剖面呢，正好
As the excavation went on, pleasant surprises came one after another. From the early cultural layer of the Neolithic period, which was dated 5,000 to 8,000 years ago, the archaeologists unearthed a great number of stone artifacts. Shi and Wang believe these microlithic artifacts, especially the wedge-shaped core stones, could mark the beginning of specialized human hunting practices. In 1997, Professor Mei Hui Jia of Peking University spotted a dark brown object in a layer dating back 10,000 years. He thought it was a bone, but something seemed different, so he took a closer look. He wondered how could pottery be unearthed from an advanced prehistoric human remains site and why they appeared so loosely. May asked other members of the team to have a look. May knew that if pottery was unearthed from an advanced prehistoric human remains site, it would surely mean it had an older history than those excavated from a Zheng Jialyang site. A few days later, May discovered another piece of sand pottery at the Yujiao site. It was 5 centimeters in length, 4.5 centimeters in width, and decorated with impressions. Tests determined that these two pieces of pottery from Yujiao dated to 10,000 years ago. The invention of pottery over 10,000 years ago provides new insight into how Nihawan man developed. 
The pottery offers an important clue to investigating the transitional period from the advanced Paleolithic era to the Neolithic era, as well as the origin of pottery making in ancient China. The discovery and excavation of the advanced prehistoric human remains site at Yujago was an important archaeological milestone. Based on their research, Xu and Wang concluded that Nihawan man lived off hunting and collecting plants and fruit. The settlements were near rivers or at the foot of mountains where they would also craft pottery and jade. More than 100 prehistoric human remain sites have been discovered in the Nihawan Basin, including over 40 sites dating back at least 1 million years. In 2001, the Nihawan prehistoric human remain sites were listed as one of China's 100 major archaeological discoveries of the 20th century. In 2002, the sites of the geological remains in Nihuan were added to the list of national nature reserves. In June of 2012, the Nihuan Museum opened. It's the largest one in China focused on prehistoric humans. The museum holds more than 10,000 exhibits dating from 2 million to 5,000 years ago, including human and animal fossils, stone artifacts, jade objects, and pottery as well. Since its discovery in 1924, Nihuan has been considered an important site by Chinese and foreign archaeologists. It shows humans may have originated at the same time in both Africa and East Asia.